Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of March 2021 Aries season. So happy birthday Aries. Um, let's pull your cards and see what we get for you. What do we have for Aries? So I've got the lovers. Card of Gemini. I'm going to pull another card with this. Let's get an extra card with the... Oh, that just came out. Okay, Six of Cups. Okay, message for Aries, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. Message for Aries. Hmm. Is there disbelief here? Because we have, if you believe, you know, it looks like Metatron sign, you know, Archangel Metatron, who was, um, who supported the creation of the world. So, you know, it definitely feels for some of you, there's something to create here. If you really believe in it, which is an interesting message to have. So let's pull some cards, Aries. I'm going to pull three cards. Our first card, you know by now, is the issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your near future outcome. And then we clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay. What do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. message for our lovely Aries for the week okay there you are I've got justice with the Emperor King of Wands Page of Swords Let's clarify, go deeper into the message, Aries. What do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aries, thank you. message for Aries thank you I've got the lovers again with the five of pentacles queen of swords with the king of wands card of Libra it can be Leo but this can also be you Aries the king of wands male or female energy And I have the Three of Pentacles here. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Wands. Oh, interesting. I, I literally. It just literally caught my hand there at the bottom of the deck. And it's the Emperor reversed. Okay. So I've got two Emperors in this reading. And the Emperor is your energy. It feels in this situation, Aries, and it feels to do with love, romance, relationships. The Lovers is a card of Gemini. Like I said, we've got Libra, potentially Leo here as well. Uh, Libra here too. So Libra seems to be a strong energy. You might have been dealing with a Libra. It feels like this is a relationship. The message is somebody from the past is coming back. I mean, this is an energy of revisiting the past.
somebody from the past is coming back into your life here and it could like i said it feels to do with a person and it's almost kind of like they're offering it feels like there's a choice to make in terms of love romance relationships they want it, it, they're making noises to get back together and the message is if you believe in this then you can create this reality for yourself you know this is that creation energy that i was talking about if you believe if you want to there is an opportunity a window of opportunity here to reconnect with somebody and it feels deep love romance relationship the lovers is a harmonious bond um a relationship you're aligned to each other in your core principles you fit together well it's love it's love 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 so but it comes when there's felt a lack of love and there was some kind of I don't know what happened here Aries but it feels like something wasn't fair there could have been some imbalance here that caused you to split in the past maybe from in the relationship but it felt that you uh, someone fell out in the cold uh, this can be about rejected outcast it feels like either they finished with you or you finished with them before Because it just feels for some of you, I mean, there could have been some truth here that came out as well. But it might well be you felt, you felt something wasn't fair or something wasn't done right. I, I don't, you know, I'm getting this energy of something didn't feel fair. But it, it feels in this situation, I mean, this can also be marriage as well. There can be marriage here too. But it feels in this situation here, Aries, they're coming back. They've caused you, it really knocked your, it feels like it knocked your self-esteem, self-worth for a period of time where you felt out in the cold, alienated. And there was a feeling of begrudging, they're fine and I'm not, you know, or that could be vice versa, them to you, you know, um, but it feels like there's you're there back and there's some kind of choice to make here because they want to get they want the the union again they want to get back on track they want to reconnect with you it feels in terms of love romance relationships here um interesting energy again it could be with a libra the king of wands is Again, I just see two, I see two people here, male or female energies, but the King of Wands is somebody who, who takes action on where his passions lead him. He is all about the, taking action towards a, a big vision um, and making it happen, you know, bringing the growth of success, fulfilling his passions, his desires, taking the lead. And we have the Queen of Swords, which again is a Libra energy. Um, it feels in this situation, communication, some communication from them, maybe some exchange here happening as well, some kind of exchange happening in the near future. But it feels in this situation, the Queen of Swords can also be about getting to the truth of the situation on what you want to take action towards now you know it, it feels like where there has been some kind of imbalance uh something that caused imbalance in your relationship before it feels like somebody wants to put the balance back in the relationship too because they want to rebuild they want to rebuild they want to rebuild the connection this is the message of truth. They're speaking their truth or you're speaking your truth. So it feels quite, it feels quite strong. And, you know, there's an energy here of people with common goals, common principles, 
building something stable, sol solid, secure for the future. That is the three of pentacles energy here. Uh, it's a team energy. So uh, being reunited as a team, as an entity. Yeah. But there's the feeling of you don't know that you can let go of the past. You don't know if you're ready to let the new in because there's definitely a feeling over the past journey was so difficult to to get on from to move on from Aries there's a feeling of of inflexibility here with you I don't know if this is something that I want to do I don't know if this is something that is for me it was so difficult for me to get control back in my life uh, to come back to myself uh, when this relationship finished before I don't know if I'm ready for this again So the message is there is some kind of choice or decision to make the lovers card is a choice It is um, and it's to do with matters of the heart generally and it feels that can you put the past journey aside and embrace new? You know it can it be something that you can rebuild and again I uh, that is something that you need to discuss because you know the emperor reversed it feels like the last the history of what you have together really made you feel um out of sorts struggling to come back to who you were um this feeling of of being out of control and there is an energy now of inflexibility in terms of making space for the new so it, it feels like there's an element of doubt will things become clear yes they will um, maybe some kind of decision or choice that you need to make in terms of, of how you move forward Aries but it definitely feels for some of you that there is some kind of choice to make here because somebody's coming back there's the potential to create something new here, restore the harmony. But it feels like you're not sure of what you went through, the history with this person, whether you want to go through that again, whether you want to expose yourself to the, that again. And that is why there is a degree of inflexibility here. I don't know if I want it right now. I don't know if this is what I want to do. I don't know if this is what I want to expose myself to again. So some kind of choice or decision to make, Aries. Okay, powerful message for you. What do we have for Aries as a final message? Hmm, interesting, I've got new beginnings. <laughs> uh, we have the fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a, new, of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. I mean, there's definitely a new beginning on, on the cards for you. It, it just feels for some of you that you are... There is some kind of choice to make in how you want to move forward. Powerful energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.